do you see the role of Survey India has changed in the last 250 years? Especially, uh, we have now moved to digital India. How do you fit into that? The role of Survey of India has been continuously changing. Its mandate has been uh, changing based on the needs of the country. If you see historically, when the organization started in 1767, it was purely for the military needs of the East India Company which started this. Then the British government took over. The mandate has slightly modified from not only from the military needs, Survey of India was employed in developmental activities as well to provide the survey and mapping support for the developmental activities. After the independence, under the government of India, we have been supporting the government in all the developmental activities and also in the defence activities like defence mapping and all that was also being carried out simultaneously along with the military survey. Now, technology has also brought in uh, what I say necessary changes in the mandate of Survey of India. Until recently, until say even 2000 also, we have been producing hard copy maps which were sufficient to meet most of the needs of the country. But today as you know, the JS technology has taken over almost every aspect of the government and uh, uh, what I say in many areas of government and governance. Now, most of the government departments are sort of expecting Survey of India to serve the geospatial data in various GIS compatible format and also as a GIS uh, geospatial solution. In this direction, the mandate of Survey of India has changed now substantially and fortunately, we are able to sort of modify ourselves. The organization is also taking shape in the same direction and we are trying to meet the requirements of country in that direction. Many people criticize Survey of India that it has not kept up with the pace, the way the map industry has changed. What do you have to say about that? Uh, yes, it is uh, true to some extent. And uh, one of the main complaints that we had until recently was that Survey of India maps were not easily available. It is agreed. And at the same time, I differ with that also. Even when the restriction policy was on, we have served all the departments, even the individuals also, were given the restricted maps, only subjected to certain regulations. They had to fill up certain forms, they have to fulfill certain administrative conditions, and then we were giving it. So, the statement that Survey of India was not giving the maps is not 100% correct. But anyway, we solved it in the year 2005 by publishing the maps in two different forms. One is open series maps, which is available to every citizen of India. Only a person has to establish an entity by producing an Aadhaar card and he'll be given the map. And the second is a DSM map, where the defense related data is also published. This map goes to the defense forces and that is the end of it. So now we are satisfying 100% require, map requirement of the country with the OSM maps. And secondly, the map need from hard copy, it changed to, as I said, into the digital form. That also we have finished. We have we are ready and we are supplying map in the digital form to almost all the inventors now. So we are, I don't say exactly running along with the others. Maybe we are, what I say, see, it takes a little bit of a time for an organization like Survey of India, like to change itself to the need. But we are still, uh, I think, not very behind the people or the needs of the country. What kind of uh, competition do you see from these private mapping agencies? Frankly, I do not see any competition from the private mapping agencies because we have distinct, what I say, roles. Survey of India is a national mapping agency. It has its own mandate and roles. And uh, private industries, they can coexist. Even beyond Survey of India, there are many other mapping needs of the country which the private industry can co meet. And secondly, even Survey of India now is looking at the private mapping and uh, geospatial industry for our own purpose like when we are coming out with the major projects, we are expecting to engage, uh, engage and avail the services of this mapping and geospatial industry. So I think uh, I don't call it a competition. I say it is a coexistence. And in fact, this uh, coexistence or the cooperation is going to increase in future rather than going the other way. Isn't it a cause of concern that most of the private players are for private mapping agencies, wherein we have a company, we have an organization like Survey of India. What is there that you lack that these companies opt for private players? In our country, see, we, with the, especially the government agencies, for whatever the service we avail from the vendors, there are too many regulations. Okay, too many processes are there to go. And secondly, until recently, 
the needs of geospatial data and all have not been so seriously recognized. See, this uh, demand for the geospatial data, I say is very, very recent. Maybe in the last three or maximum five years that this kind of demand has come up, which is growing very, very fast. So until then, see, if you start a company, you have to have business. And the accessibility from the other agencies, the offshore agencies was much easier than from the government agencies. So they naturally, they opted for that. And I'm happy that they could do it because business is business. Say you establish yourself, you come out with new technologies and all. The country gets benefited. Until recently, they were serving the offshore clients. Today, they can serve the country. So this, in my opinion, is a reason. Your tenure, yeah. in particular, in, as uh, the Survey General of Survey of India, has been kind of transformational. You are saying that in the last three, four years, so you are kind of witnessing this change, the time that is changing these days. How do you see the change in the approach of a company? How, do you, how, do, how has it changed? Like earlier, the company used to approach you and you must be giving a time frame of six, seven, eight months. Now, what is the time frame? When, how quickly do they want your maps? See, as far as the time frames are concerned, let me tell you, until recently, until five years ago, say we were speaking in terms of years. Okay. Huh? See, now, even I am speaking in terms of weeks. Oh. So that's quite a transformation, I would say. Yes, because the technology has come in and we are confident that we'll be able to use the technology and do that. So this is the basic thing. And secondly, earlier, see even the, what I say on the regulations part and all, it was a bit much stringent than what we have now. Now the need has been realized and even on the government side also there is pressure. Pressure in the sense even the government wants us to show the results. Say if I promise the government I'm going to start a work today and show the result after three years. I don't think the government will allow me. The same goes with other department also who are my clients. So now automatically there is this led to the change. Now everybody wants to act fast and do it fast. So I think this is a very positive change that has happened.